and then I decided, um, do you know what, I'm going to try this. So that's how I got started in it. As a consequence of working in the industry and getting to work with some amazing, incredible designers like Alexander McQueen and Vivian Westwood, a lot of people uh, started to come to me, particularly over the last few years, just for advice and so on. So this was largely through social media. So I would get around about 30 to 50 messages a day from people asking questions like, how do you get an agent? How do you become a model? Platform, but for some reason they have not chosen to make it clear and easy for people to understand how to get into our industry. Um, and as a consequence of that, I believe that a lot of exploitation occurs and a lot of people waste a lot of time and money going in the wrong direction completely. And over the last three years, I've been working with them to develop strategy to also represent models. Now, why that became important for me was because obviously fashion, as you guys know, is one of the biggest industries in the world. It's something that everybody, particularly in our society in the West, participates in. So everything you're wearing is known as ready to wear. Most people in this room, I think everyone in this room is wearing ready to wear which means it's off the hanger, which is part of something that we now call fast fashion. In most jobs, there's a kind of minimum wage and um, there are certain rules and regulations. However, in fashion, there are no rules and regulations. So you could be a model, there's no law that says you have to get minimum wage. So a lot of the time, people are working, particularly early in their careers, for nothing at all. Then we have an over-reliance on materials such as cotton, and these are like particularly um, disastrous to the environment. In the UK, we landfill around about 350,000 tonnes of old clothes. I felt that it was important for me to use my platform to create this book. And in the book, it is quite simple. It is literally a how-to guide. Just thinking, we, through giving you work, I will then be able to take commission. So the agent makes money from getting you work. They don't make money from charging you when you join. So it was really important for me to have that. There are top tips to the book such as if you're a young girl and you wanted to be a model, um, don't wear makeup. And what happens is if you were to walk past a scout in the street, they would not be able to scout you because you have so much makeup on, they don't know what you look like. And it's not possible for them to say, can you take your makeup off in the street? Like, they're not gonna do that. You know, it is actually one of the only industries in the world where a woman gets paid more money to do the same job as a man, which is quite interesting in itself. So there are jobs such as public relations. <coughs> public relations involves working with press and media. You could be a buyer, so you, for example, you might work at Harvey Nichols and you're the person that goes to the fashion shows to watch the shows, to then select the products, to then stock in the shop. Every single time you show up, you have to be brilliant. And that's the same in fashion. So you might have done the best work in the world, but you will be judged on each day. So it's very precarious. It's a very precarious industry. Um, and a lot of it is down to it's like season in the book i talk a lot about how you might have your own core beliefs or things that you're willing to do or not do and i think it's important to stick to that So you need how was it? It was absolutely amazing. I mean it's fantastic to be in my home city of Edinburgh and to get the opportunity to meet so many brilliant people and talk about the work. It has been fantastic. Thank you. Thank you.